Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to discuss the differences of orthorexia and being mindful and choosing to eat healthy. Um, a lot of people get confused whether they um, are falling into orthorexic tendencies or whether they are just plain doing the best for their body. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, orthorexia is a type of disordered eating where you are completely obsessed and addicted to eating a particular food or different foods or you are obsessed with um, just eating as healthy as you possibly can and you will go to the ends of the earth to eat as specific as you possibly can. So this type of eating is actually, it's, it, it, it may seem um, innocent and healthy at first to begin with, but you literally become obsessed and addictive and it takes over your life to the point where you cannot go out with friends anymore. You have to, um, it's on your mind all the time where you have to eat this specific food at a certain time. It's just all of this um, planning and organizing and being really obsessed with particular foods or being obsessed with a food or being obsessed with how much you eat or how little you eat. And it can, it, it, that's to the point where it can become really, really unhealthy and it can become really bad for you. So a lot of people who are switching over to the vegan lifestyle, they are concerned whether they could slip into that if they are from healed from a, a, a type of eating disorder or they're just concerned all, to, all around together thinking, okay, if I follow a whole foods plant-based diet or if I follow a high carb, low fat vegan diet, that that would be considered orthorexic. Um, I'm here to tell you that it's not. I want you guys to know the difference between whether or not you are actually dealing with some symptoms of orthorexia or if you are actually doing right for your body and fueling your body as healthfully as possible. So it's really not rocket science to know that eating healthy means to be being really mindful and making a conscious decision to feed and fuel your body with the best foods possible, with the foods that make you feel your best. Now having said that, it is not okay to be obsessed and addicted to really being as pure as you possibly can. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle. But if you get to the point where you are um, really, really, really obsessed with make sure you're eating no oil whatsoever, you are eating extremely minimal salt, and if you um, are worried that if you go out for lunch with a friend or if your family member makes you some food and you're obsessed, you won't even eat the food because you're concerned that there's a little, there could be a little bit of oil or a little bit, little bit of salt in there or, or maybe it's, it, they, it could be too high fat for you or you're just really concerned about eating that food, then that would be a, a type of um, orthorexic tendency. But if you genuinely follow a high carb, low fat vegan diet where you are eating an abundance of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, and lots of other starches like potatoes, pasta, bread, and then maybe occasionally if you do a go out for lunch or if you go visit a family member and they make you some food and let's say they've added a little bit of oil in there by accident and they didn't know and you're like okay whatever I'll just have one meal it's not it's not gonna kill me it's not gonna harm me just a little bit here and there then that is being mindful that is choosing to to eat the best foods possible for your body that is making a conscious de decision to eat healthy but you're not letting yourself you're not letting it take over your life you're not letting it become an obsessed bad behavior so I myself decide to follow a whole foods plant-based diet and I follow a high carb low fat vegan diet where I generally eat about 80% of my calories um, coming from carbohydrates, 10% from fats and 10% from protein. Whenever I make my food I choose to add no oil whatsoever and I use very minimal salt. If I have any salt whatsoever it would be in a few condiments if I choose to have some hot pepper sauce or maybe some uh, mustard sauce. However, when I go out to lunch or if I go to a family member's house to visit and they add some oil or salt in there, I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to uh, avoid the food. I'm not going to starve myself. I'm going to eat it because they've made it for me. They've made it especially vegan for me. I'm not going to worry if it has too much fat. It, I'm not going to be become obsessed with it. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to enjoy the food. But I choose to um, make a daily conscious decision to fuel my body with the best foods that make me feel my best. 
but I don't have to become obsessed with it. And I'm here to tell you that there is a fine line, there can be a fine line between um, orthorexic tendencies and choosing to eat health, healthy, the best healthy diet for your body. So don't become obsessed and addicted, just live your day-to-day -day life being as healthy as you possibly can. And if you choose to eat a little cookie here and there, vegan cookie of course, it's not a big deal. Don't stress out about it. You're, you're eating 95% whole foods, you're going to be as healthy as you possibly can. So enjoy a little cookie here and there, a high fat vegan cookie, it's not a big deal. So that pretty much sums up this video. Um, if you found this video helpful or you liked it and you, and you want to see more from me, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you're new here. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!